What's up, guys? How are you doing? Sean Ogle, Location 180 and Location Rebel. I'm really excited. A couple times a year, I get some of you know our best members, some of the most successful people to come out and tell you a little bit about their transition, how they went from a life they weren't totally stoked about, weren't totally happy with, and how they've made transitions into building their own business, working from wherever they want, traveling. And today, I'm very excited to introduce to you Mike Harrington, who I've known for a little over a year now. Uh, he joined back in November of 2013, and I just finally got the chance to meet him in person at the World Domination Summit here in uh, Portland, and we, uh, safe to say, went out and had a good time. So anyway, Mike, just want to say uh, thanks for being here, man. I appreciate it. Yeah, thanks for having me on. I'm looking forward to sharing some of my, uh, some of my story. Cool. So where are you currently right this second? I am currently about three hours away from you uh, by highway. I'm in Bend, Oregon, which is not my home base, but it's where my folks live, and I'm here visiting for the month, and I came up to basically visit with them and then attend the World Domination Summit. But my year-round home base, my hub, is down in Medellin, Colombia, which is in South America. Okay, so basically two of the coolest places on the planet. For those of you who don't know, Bend is like my favorite place on Earth. I go out there like four or five times a year. I love it out there, so I'm kind of jealous at the moment. But let's, uh, let's back up. Let's start at the beginning. So you joined November of 2013. What was your life like before that? You know, what was yeah. your life like a year ago? What was uh, going on with you? So a year ago, I was working. I was making more money than I'd ever made before in a corporate job. I had got an MBA from a top school. I was following all the all the all the all the all the check boxes that you you're told to do, and it all worked in terms of on paper. Like, okay, I got my MBA. I got this high paid job. I'm getting giving a lot of responsibility here. This is cool. I'm running meetings. Blah blah blah. And about two months into it, I realized. Wow, I really hate this. Uh, I had no, <laughs> this I had is no, not what I thought it was going to be. Yeah, I've got more money in my bank account coming in than I ever had before, and I was more miserable than I'd been in years. And uh, I realized it was because I didn't have the control over my schedule. Not only what I like, where I could live, and what I was doing, but like the projects I was working on. And so I struggled. I was looking online for answers, talking to people, but um, my biggest challenge was having peers in my area. I was up in Alaska at that time working. And I didn't really have any other entrepreneurial types, let alone location independent entrepreneurial types, because as you know, one of the benefits or one of the things of one of the big benefits of being location independent is that you can choose wherever the hell you want to work, right? Right. Not many people are going to choose Alaska in the wintertime. So it was a little hard to find kindred spirits up there. But yeah, so I was I was I was frustrated. And then I found you and I found location 180. I started following the blog religiously as well as Tropical MBA, because there's some crossover there. Uh -huh. And uh, I, I think I just I think I emailed you randomly and said, hey, like, I don't know if this would be a good fit. And you got back to me right away. And I was like, OK, this is a real guy. It's not just some Internet marketing <laughs> stuff like uh, let's see what it's all about. And, uh, you know, I, I think just a month or so after that, I, I said, look, I want to join. And I got into Location Rebel and I haven't really looked back. Yeah. So let's let's talk about that. You joined. You're at this point where you're super unhappy with what you're doing. Mm -hmm. You're looking for a change. You want to travel. Uh, what were those like first few steps? Like the first, I don't know if you remember, but in the first couple of weeks, like what did you go through that kind of like made some things click? Because I mean, you made a pretty quick transition. Like it was you yeah. know, two, two and a half months later that you were out of your job and taken off for Columbia. So what did you, you know, do in those first few months that made you so it's successful? A, it's amazing what you can pull off when you're miserable, <laughs> when your back's against the wall, right? So for me, it was it was joining the community, and I looked at some other you know ways to you know teach myself skills to make money online, and what I found they were lacking. The biggest part was community, and that's the thing I harp on constantly to people if they want to get started in this. It's like, yes, you can find these skills out there, whether it's copywriting, web design, web development, etc. But the community that will support you, not only to like become successful doing this, but that transition out of your job where you're just filled with self doubt and you're back and forth. Like I. I was indecisive for like three months and it was miserable because yeah. I couldn't decide. But once I started like actively participating in the Location Rebel community, that's when it all just clicked for me because I could ask questions. Eight or 10 people that were like six months down the road or a year or two down the road would respond and say like, well, I've been right where you're at. You're doing the right thing. Okay, you're having this issue with a client. Like say this or here's what, what email that worked for me. And people were just so generous. So it, I was like, to really sum it up, like I didn't feel like I was doing it alone, and I yeah. felt like I was doing it kind of with um, with a family or with a team, if you will. Well, and that's one of the biggest things I talk about is just that importance of community. It's like when I first got started, like with you know Location 180 and the blog, I was corporate suit and tie. I would tell people, it's like, yeah, I think I want to like you know start an online business or go travel or something, and people were like, what? You're you're an idiot. Why would you want to go do that? So I imagine like living up in Alaska, you know, kind of out there on your own, like doing this. You probably tell people, it's like, yeah, I'm gonna like 
try this internet business thing and people right. probably looked at you like you're crazy and they absolutely did and i mean that's that's my favorite part of location rebel is the fact that now we're going on three years like as we're doing this we're doing this for a three-year pro- uh, three-year anniversary promotion and we've got people that joined yesterday and we've got people that have literally been in there for three years and so you've got the people that understand what you're going through because they're going through the exact same thing right now. And then you've got all of those people that are at every stage down the line, all the way up to people that now have six-figure businesses mm-hmm. that continue to hang out and just help the the new members and help mentor. Yeah. And I think that's been one of the cool things to see you step into that role. As you've started traveling and building your business, like you come in, you help out all the new guys, and you know it really is just kind of a, a small family almost. Absolutely. And one of the things that I like I thought was really cool is because, you know, as an entrepreneur and as like you're moving forward, you're, you're always looking ahead like, well, this guy's got a six figure business or this guy's got a seven figure business or this guy's got two, whatever. There's that comparison game. Right. But what was really eye opening for me is that I, because I was participating actively in the forum, sharing my story and also giving feedback to the people that were going through similar stuff I had months prior. People were reaching out to me and emailing me privately or sending me private messages on the forum saying, man, like your story has been like really ins- inspirational for me. And like, I really want to be where you are like a year from now. And I'm thinking I wasn't giving myself enough credit because I was not only doing this stuff, but I was sharing it publicly. Yeah. And I'm sure I think that you can probably relate to that by sharing your journey publicly through your blog and how much like that kind of builds not just a family, but almost a little bit of an audience and people are interested. And so you know, even for the most introverted people out there, like I really tell them, like just get involved in a forum, whatever it is. For me, it was Location Rebel, and be yeah. active, give, and you'll receive, and all that stuff, and it's it's great. So yeah, totally. So let's for people that are thinking about doing this, you know, you know, you had an MBA, you were bringing in lots of money. Is this something that you know anyone can anyone go and do with the stuff you did? If they join Location Rebel, and maybe you know it's a big oh, yeah. investment for them. You know, do you have to have an MBA to do the type of stuff you did? And what did you do? Because I still remember, you know, you sent me an email or you had a forum post within the first couple months and you're like, I made back the cost of the program within two weeks. Like I made like 1200 bucks in the first month. Yep. Like, yep. you know, what were you doing to, you know, start making those, those first uh, bits of money online? I was hustling. <laughs> and, and, and when I say hustling, I mean, I was taking massive action, right? Yeah. I was taking imperfect action. Um, uh, but like, you know, I had, I had knowledge and I had information that was being given to me through the location rebel community. But I said, okay, I want to make my first, my first goal is I want to make my first hundred dollars online. I did it in like two days. Right. Yeah. And I'd <laughs> so, never wow, made any that money. Out. I'd never made any money before, but I just followed the blueprint, like right inside there, the SEO writing blueprint, like, okay, I can do this. I did a couple of test articles for people within the community. Um, and what's cool about that is like, yeah, you're not going to make a ton of money doing stuff for other people in the community, but they're giving you that opportunity to learn the ropes of that business, whether it be copywriting, whether it be SEO consulting, et cetera. Yeah. And it's kind of like, I look at it as like a paid internship and I figured it out kind of within a week. I was already a fairly good writer. So, um, the next hump was like, well, how do I get clients? Right. And I had people like hold my hand through that process. Like, Oh, here's what I did. Here's exactly what you do to like get a list of, of, of potential clients you want to target. Here's what you'd say in an email. Once you get them on the phone, here are some kind of go-to rates. And I landed my first three clients within that first week, I think. And yeah, so it was like, you know, when I joined, I think it was 497 or 500 bucks, joined Location Rebel. And like, yeah, I made that back really quick. So that's that's really cool to hear. So that was, I mean, that was like January, you know, this year, November last year. You know, it's been within the last like nine months or so. So now yeah. let's fast forward. Where you, so you're in Bend, you're getting ready to head back to Columbia after spending yeah. some time there. Let's talk about like when you first like made the decision to go travel because people join for different reasons. Some people want sure. to grab a backpack, they want to go travel and you know work from coffee shops. Some people just mm-hmm. want to spend a little bit more time with their kids or whatever. So let's talk about your experience traveling and how that sure. worked out for you. Yeah, so I learned a lesson really quickly with my two, first two weeks on the ground that I do not want to be a full-on digital nomad. Uh, I work best by, and I love being an expat. I love being in a new culture, yeah. but I love being there for a minimum of three months so I can have real relationships with people, have a routine where I go to the gym, eat decent, uh, you know, have decently healthy food, and be productive. Um, the first week or two I was there, I was running around from hostel to hotel and on buses and planes constantly. And as a result, I lost a client or two, and that's totally on me because I didn't have my system set in place and I didn't realize there's a whole another host of challenges that 
that come with uh, constantly being on the road. So for some people, I've seen it, it work, but it's more of a kind of a personality and a personal preference thing. For me, it's like, well, I love having the flexibility to like be in Bend for a month and hang out with you and hang out with my parents and go yeah. to the World Domination Summit and then go back to Medellin where I've got, there's a thriving startup scene, a lot of location independent entrepreneurs there and hang out with them in coffee shops or, or meetups or a co-working space and be there for three to six months as I'm working on a product launch. So um, that's been my experience, but I also know some really successful people within the community that have kids and have a mortgage and are living in the United States, but they're just happy that they were able to leave their job, have more flexibility around when they work, um, and just have more creativity and, and control over, over what they're doing. Well, and I think one of the, the coolest things for me is like, as I've built a business that I can run from anywhere, it allows me to go and spend time with that community in person. You were saying mm -hmm. like, you know, when you're down before we hopped on the call, you're saying you're in Colombia. It's like you can go to coffee shops and work with other entrepreneurs or co-working spaces and just being in close proximity is really a cool thing. You have no idea what's going to come up and all of a sudden you start yeah. throwing around business ideas and a week later you've got a, a little startup that you didn't know existed or something. Mm -hmm. um, you know, when right. we were here in Portland, I mean, we had like 20 people show up for our location Rebel meetup. It was like, where did all these people come from? And I mean, literally they came from all over the world. Yeah. And uh, it's always cool to, to actually meet these people in person because, you know, in communities like this, it, it really is, even though it's online, it really is a, a community that fosters real relationships. And mm. so once you meet someone in person, it's like, oh, wow, it's like we're best friends and, you know, it's like we've known each other forever, which I always think is kind of cool. You get me. You understand yeah. me. <laughs> we're on the same page here. Yeah, exactly. So, so let's finish this up. I don't want to take too much of your time, but for sure. someone who's thinking about joining Location Rebel right now, you know, what would you say to them? You know, what would you say, you know, as to whether or not they should do it or how they should approach getting started within the community? I'd say if, if you've always had a desire to work for yourself and be an entrepreneur, especially with the, you know, the freedom of, of travel and movement that that can bring about there for me, like, and I've researched the hell out of this stuff. Like for me, there's no better place to start than Location Rebel because while there might be other similar courses out there that offer some similar blueprints or giving you some of those tangible skills, the community I found in Location Rebel was second to none. And like I said, I made the money back within the first week or two. Um, and I'm pretty sure you still offer a money back guarantee. Yeah. So <laughs> the, for me, it was like, well, so I'm just going to do this. I'm going to go full into it. And that's another lesson I learned. Like if you're going to do something, go full into it. Well, even if you don't know it's going to work, uh, those lessons you learn by going full in, giving it your 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 full at attention and effort, you learn so much from that, and like it accelerates your progress. So, to, you know, join up and give it your full effort. Participate actively in the forums. Ask questions. There's really no dumb questions, and there's tons of helpful people in there. And you'll know really quickly if it's for you. For me, it worked for me, and it introduced me. Not only did it allow me to start making an income online, it introduced me to this whole new network of people that are out there and been doing this for years. And I've got this community now that didn't exist before. Oh, my God. So I swear, guys, I did not pay him to say any of this. He did uh, not. <laughs> but it makes me feel so good. I mean, we're going on three years now. I had no idea what this was going to turn into when I created it three years ago. And it's the stories like yours that, I mean, make it so worthwhile. I mean, it's the, the coolest thing ever to be able to have this conversation and know that just a year ago, you know, we had no idea who each other were and... Um, you know, you were in this job in Alaska and now here you are in Ben getting ready to head back to Columbia and, uh, you're doing it all on your own. So, um, yes, sir. anyway, congratulations on all of your Thank success. You. And I appreciate you taking the time to do this. And if any of you guys have questions, if you decide to join up, he's very easy to find in the forums, Mike Harrington, uh, where can people find you online? Is there anything you've got going on? Yeah. That you want to pimp so out they right can now? find me on my personal blog, uh, career .com, where I'm kind of talking about, uh, travels and projects that I'm working on. And then we are working on a private course for freelancers that want to learn how to double and triple their rates. And that's one of the biggest things I've learned over the last six months through all this client work was exactly how to position yourself and speak to the client's needs um, and really see what would be a tangible, solid result for them, whether it's copywriting, web design, SEO. Um, so we've used myself and a few other people as case studies and we're building up a we're building up a course around that. So you can find the information with a free guide. You can download at redflagclientplaybook.com. And uh, we're looking to launch that up here by September. Very cool. Well, I'll make sure that uh, come September, I'll spread it around, do what I can. But in awesome. the meantime, thank you for saying such nice things about Location Rebel. Really excited to uh, hear about how Columbia goes. And uh, yeah, enjoy the rest of the afternoon. Fantastic. All right. We'll enjoy Portland and uh, we'll be in touch. Thanks, right. Sean. Thanks, Mike.